What's going on, nation? Today is Sunday, December 22nd, and this is your SHF Weekly Update. Like many of you, it's been a pretty crazy week. Erica and I have been out Christmas shopping and running around, and lucky for her, she's over here on, on the couch, lucky for her, I'm really good at like driving with all this, and all this madness, so we get in and out of stores really quick. She yeah. likes that a lot. He's Today, pretty good at spotting parking spots. I can I can spot a parking spot a mile away, and I and get it. Driving really crazy, babe. Oh yeah, I get it every single time. Today we had to go to the mall. Then we had to go to Target. Then we had to go to Lowe's, and then we went to the movie theater and saw the new Hobbit movie, which I thought was really cool. I do think they're kind of dragging it on a little bit. Erica thinks it's boring because there's just no action happening. There's no. There's no completion, which is kind of how you felt after you left the first movie. Like, it's really cool to see the book come to life. I read the book when I was a kid, but I thought I was going to see some, like, desolation of smog. But there was none. It was just him. But they did a pretty good job with the dragon. They made smog look pretty badass, I think. Yeah, I agree. But I agree with you on everything else. It's too long. I feel like the quest never ends, and the... There's just not enough content for almost three hours. Yeah, and but there was a pretty badass um, Legolas battle that was pretty awesome. The, the fighting with the elves was great. He had this whole scene where, if you guys haven't seen the movie yet, where he's like, they're on a river and he's killing orcs while the, the dwarves and uh, Biblo are going down the river. It's pretty badass. Make sure you see that when you go see it. It was pretty cool. But overall, it's a good movie. So we just got back a little while ago. We were going to go to the gym today. We've just been so busy. Um, and I decided I wanted to see Lord of the Rings because we're going to Florida on Tuesday. I'm going to meet Erica's family for the first time. Woohoo! I've already met her sister, but I haven't met her brother or her parents. So it's going to be a good time because we're going to go to Universal Studios. Maybe you should say it's a good time because <laughs> you're going to meet my family. If the whole three years. If the whole family thing bombs with meeting Erica's parents, at least it's Universal Studios, right, babe? Babe, I thought you'd be more confident than that. I'm pretty confident. We'll have a good time. <laughs> but uh, I did want to go over some stuff with you guys. I actually posted a pretty cool article this week on ScottHermanFitness.com. It was an article on sleep direction and how actually the way in which you sleep could be affecting um, how well rested you are when you wake up. Uh, if you're like me, I mean, I wake up all the time. I just don't feel like I slept well. It's very rare like a good night of sleep. And so I did some research on it, and I realized that my bed is basically facing the exact wrong way according to, like, ancient studies. I mean, this stuff has been around, like I said, like since the ancients. They're the ones that came up with this because the way you're your body reacts to the magnetism of the North Pole and South Pole. Anyways, I'll put the link in the info section below. Needless to say, I'm changing the way my bed faces. And Erica's like, you're weird. <laughs> she goes, this doesn't make any difference. And then, I'm, and then she, we tried sleeping that way, and she actually, I think she felt it. Yes, babe, but it still has to look cute, though, in oh, our house. Oh, my gosh. It'll look fine. So anyways, check that out. Also, I added two new routines and two new exercises to the website as well. So if you want to update your profiles on scotthermanfitness.com, I added um, the back and bicep workout we did last week, and then I also added the, the routine I released this week, which was the holiday disaster plan workout. And, I, and then I also, for the exercises, I added the bicep drag curl, as well as the V-ups. If you want to include those in your routines, make sure you check them out. Uh, I've also been adding some site walkthrough videos to help you guys with getting used to using the new system and interacting with each other and uploading photos and videos and editing your profiles. And there's a whole site walkthrough page. I'll put a link in the section below as well. But if you just go to my website and go to the very top, it literally says site walkthrough right there. So check those videos out if you haven't seen them already. Uh, Erica and I were in uh, LA last week. I was filming my third DVD with Lionsgate BeFit, and it was basically a, a 30 day program meant to be extremely intense. We have lots of behind the scenes footage we're going to show to you guys. Uh, hopefully, have it edited by January. It's obviously going to be pretty crazy the next week with all the traveling we're doing. But give you guys kind of a, a backseat look at what we've been doing and how intense stuff is getting. And for those of you looking to get back on track for the new year, it's going to be a really good program for you. So that should be coming out soon. And while we're out there, we also saw Hunger Games. It was pretty cool. We like going to the movies. Well, I do. I drag her with me. Uh, Saturday Exercise Explosion. I'll post them both up over here. And then, like I said, last week we had the barbell drag, drag curl. 
And then this week I released a video. I had my friends Bobby and um, Nick Wright come up. Bobby Arcan from Plus Iron and Nick Wright from Nick Wright Bodybuilding. And we talked about training for different goals. And so if you haven't seen those two videos, check out the Barbell Drag Curl over here. And you can check out the Training for Different Goals video over here. It's pretty cool. So far you guys seem to have liked it. Lots of good information in this video. And the Barbell Drag Curl is basically to work your bicep peaks. If you want to try to get bigger peaks, the perfect exercise for you. The Tuesday tune-up, as I previously mentioned, was the holiday disaster plan. And basically, I put this workout together. It's three exercises, three hardcore compound movements to basically just kickstart your body. If you've been busy and you've been kind of slacking on the gym and you want to do something to put you back in the right spot or the right mindset, this workout is definitely going to do it for you. So if you haven't seen it yet, make sure you check it out. And as far as the Tuesday tune-up is concerned, it's kind of in the air right now. It's the day before Christmas. We'll be traveling all day. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get to releasing anything. Um, I just won't have the time. But if I do have the time, I will release something. But this week, just so you guys know, I'm going to be traveling and doing stuff and doing family stuff, which... You guys should be doing the same thing. Don't be staying glued to the computer the whole week. <laughs> so um, if I get a chance to release something, I will. I got to see what I have going on. I did film a few routines, but more than likely, I'll probably wait until I get back from Florida just so I can enjoy some family time and have some time off. Uh, and the last thing, the fan art winner of the week this week was Stephen Greencorn. And I just thought this photo was really funny. Because I like The Simpsons, and you put Homer in an HTH shirt, and it's just hilarious. So, thank you, Steven. I love it. That's your SHF Weekly Update. Hope you guys all have a happy holiday with your friends and family. And as always, more good stuff coming soon. See you guys.